Hello viewers, in this video I will show you thermite reaction which basically uh, is atomic redox reaction between metal powder and metal oxide. It is so exotomic until it can reach about 2500 degrees Celsius splattering molten iron drop and release dangerous ultraviolet light. So stand back and do not look directly to the reaction place once initiated. To make red iron oxide thermite, which is the most common thermite used, just mix 3 gram of iron 3 oxide and 1 gram of aluminum powder. If you want to make larger batch, just scale it up. I prefer mixing them using mortar as it will make the mix more homogeneous, providing maximum contact between iron oxide and aluminum powder. Mix them until no more lump exist and the color become light brown. I will use glycerin permanganate reaction to ignite thermite mix we made earlier. This reaction has enough activation energy to ignite thermite mixture. Or else you can use magnesium ribbon as a fuse. This batch I use 10 gram of thermite mixture. The chemistry goes like this. Aluminium is more reactive than iron, so it can displace iron from iron oxide, producing free elemental iron droplets, and also aluminium oxide. So the aluminium get oxidized and the iron get reduced. Thermite reaction is commonly practiced in welding railway. This second batch I use about 40 gram of thermite mixture. As you can see, it splatter molten droplets of iron. Let's go and see the iron chunk. It is still red hot but it has been solid. The white mass around it is aluminum oxide. Now I present your 100 gram batch. Well, I'll expect more violent reaction. But it's just good thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate and comment.